गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम विघ्नेशान मुनि गुरु सस्मुनी लक्ष्मी स आवाहि ले आम्ही गुंतवणु कशास्त्र शिकण्या हे सत्र आरंभि ले केव्हा स्थावर आणि जंगम कधी कोठे किती गुंतवू चर्चा मंथन तज्ञ बोध मिळता हे प्रश्नही सोडवू ठेवी भाग सुवर्ण पोस्ट अथवा रोखे तसे फंडते वृद्धी भांडवली मिळो कर नको पर्याय हो कोण ते कोठे उत्तम रोखता सुगमता लाभांश वा व्याजही कोठे गुंतविणे सुरक्षित असे नोंदी सकैसी वही सन्मार्गे धन संपदा मिळविणे अत्यंत आवश्यक पैसा ध्येय नसे म्हणून जपणे जाणीव सामाजिक ज्ञानाचा उपयोग गुंतवणुकी साठी सदा होऊ दे हे सारे समजाव या सुमती दे आम्हास तू शार दे रिक्वेस्ट मिस्टर उदय तटकर अँड मिस श्रुती सिद्धे टू कम ओव टू द स्टेज as you are all aware that uh, we keep uh, you know looking out for different topics and not completely related only to investments uh, keeping that perspective in mind today's topic is about technology and how we can protect ourselves from being cheated or fooled while we are using technology to complete our transactions as life has been changing and evolving continuously uh technology is becoming more and more and playing a bigger part in our life and therefore it is important that we understand how we use technology to uh, as a tool to protect our interest rather than getting cheated about it so with that perspective uh, we thought you know we would invite miss shruti sidhe who is an expert in her own field as a banker and uh, we would take some perspective from her uh before i proceed with uh, before i proceed with uh, the uh, uh, the actual session let me just give a brief introduction about uh, ms shruti shudde she has completed bcom and uh, from ng bedekar college and she is a pgd fm from uh, nmims certification from uh, indian institute of banking and finance such as caib ctf certified banker bank trainer certified in international banking certificate in central banking has been working with tgbs uh, sarkari bank limited thane in various roles since 1997 presently holding the post as a senior manager has designed credit rating mechanism for corporate credits at tgsb she has been awarded the first rank by the tgsb under bright leadership program where several suggestions for enhancing the profitability of the branch made by her have been well accepted and appreciated she has contributed articles on new h banking which was published by bombay chartered accountants association journal she has been a guest speaker for finance fair held in 2019 on the topic such as banking tomorrow and investment opportunities uh, held by lokmanya seva sang let us welcome ms shruti sidhe who carries rich experience in banking to guide us how to protect our interest while using technology to execute financial transactions on her session on technology a tool to make you a fool so let us welcome her before i hand over the mic i would like uh, request uh, mr uday tardalkar to hand over a memento and a fruit basket
So now the stage is open and it's over to you. Yeah. Uh, very nervous to speak before people Vile Parle. And uh, actually my legs are shaking. So I'll I'll try to make my best just to share as to whatever I know, which will definitely help you out to not to get into trap of cybercrime. So as the topic here is technology, a tool to make you a fool. So uh, when we say technology, everything in our life that gives us comfort always come up with some or the other side effects. So today we are going to discuss about those side effects and how we can actually win over those side effects. So for the purpose of better understanding, I have tried to connect the topic with the disease. So when we say a disease, uh, sugar, take an example, diabetes. So uh, sugar jasta zali, manun apan manto diabetes zala. Pan manun itar sagres zana, would they live eating sugar? No. Uh, just because road accidents are happening, do we not travel by road? We do. Similarly, when the technology comes up with the side effects, do we really no, should not use the technology? So today's session is briefly about the uh, digitization and the way we are going to use or we are using the technology. So before we proceed, I'm just trying to give you a brief idea how the technology is inevitable in our today and tomorrow's life. So technology is used by whom? Right from children till the ages, till the old people. So in every, every aspect, we use technology. Three idiots dialogue, pan ke zip se leke, pen ke nip tak, machine. So the machine is equal to technology. So why do we use who, why, how, when? are the few questions I'm just quickly trying to address so that the point which I want to make would be more clear. So children, uh, uh, say uh, wedding websites, then receipts payments, and of course, the for entertainment, for cooking, insurance. For everything, we do depend on the technology. So when we say we are dependent on the technology, it's more likely that the technology in this perspective is used by way of computers, computers, laptops, smartphones, smartwatches nowadays. So this is all about the technology is being used. Now, this is very interesting, disruptive innovations. So disruptive innovations in this field, checks are replaced by QR code. Physical newspapers replaced by e-newsletters. Cards are replaced by mobile payments. And physical banks are replaced by neo banks. All these things can be achieved by way of one device, that is mobile, a smartphone. So there is no option. We have to use this. Now, how technology is used in banking? There is a customer, there is a bank. There is a wide gap between a customer and a bank in this era. When both husband and wife are working, we do find a lot of time constraints to visit the branch. So this gap is filled by digital channels. So new age banking, brick and mortar bank is being replaced by digital store, 
banking role is changing from receipts payments, merely receipt payments, to more exhaustive. So more exhaustive meaning many things we can do through banking which we had never thought of. Now this is a short story which I just wanted to make though it is not connected. Now we are slowly landing into our main topic. In the year 1900, he used to like the tie pins. And he a diamond merchant, he had a very valued tie pin. So he was aware that uh, this king is fond of these tie pins. So he sent a messenger in 1900 year. Then he sent a messenger with two envelopes. One envelope containing this tie pin, the other envelopes with a, with a, a letter, small letter. That king, Malam Aitye, Tula, uh, you are fond of uh, such tie pins. So I am sending this you. If you like it, just pay me $100 check, by way of check, along with this messenger, and keep the tie pin. Raja Niti tie pin bagit li tala award li. Tani kai kela, Aishi dollar sa check, the messenger barwar pathola, along with the letter. Of course, with the tie pin again. Ki, uh, I don't think it's worth $80, uh, $100. I'm sending you a check of $80. If you agree, keep the check and send me back the tie pin. So, uh, merchant ni sangit la nai. That is not possible. To messenger la, aishi dollars sa check giun parat patho to. Ani hatash hoon bas to, uh, saying that uh, I have lost this opportunity though, but it is worth $100, no option. Ani hatash hoon bas lian antar to te envelope ughar to, dousara envelope, type in sa. Te cha type in nas te. Te cha $100 sa check as to, and ek chitthi as te, was just checking the price. So, in a way, he had tried to check the price and he has played this way. After 100 years, today, Ekonisha Salatla Zala, Acha Karat, Kaya Hota, Messenger Yetni, Amazon Sa, Kimwa, Kutlatari, Ashas Kutla, Company Sa Manuseto, Ani To Santo, Sab to me, he order Kelota, he ami Andle, the he gya. And if you have a lot of people who are not going to be to do this, you can't get a little bit of 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 and Nantar apply la karta ki apply account la heavy amount debit padle. This is the trap. We need to understand that. Atta messenger wagare prakar nahi hai, direct Amazon hai. So how technology is used in banking? KYC compliances? Kiti phone etat? How many calls do we get? KYC updation? Receipts payments? We get calls for receipts payments? Tumala Euda payment karase, Tumala Euda amount alie, etc. Assessment of loans. Tumchi loan eligibility. Your loan eligibility can be assessed by way of non financial documents. So, what does that mean? Based on your social media account, based on your history of transactions, people, bankers can say for which amount are you eligible for. So, how this is happening? This is happening by way of a technology. In this case, your, there are some companies, CIC companies we call them as, they can get access to your bank accounts as well. So with this, we actually get into uh, an eligibility for the loan amount for which we are eligible for. Marketing of products, of course, is being done by way of uh, this. Recruitments, again, can be done by way of technology. So these are all areas for which technology is being used. 
major channels in banking we agree internet banking mobile banking bcbf have we ever heard about the business correspondent and business facilitator so business correspondent and business facilitators are the one which are present but the bank is not present they are representing the bank and they on behalf of bank they conduct all the transactions and all the activities how this is possible this is possible simply by way of connecting to the bank server and they perform all the transactions in rural areas especially to promote the banking for financial inclusion rbi has allowed bcbf models host to host vijay sales we know vijay sales or any other such electronic goods suppliers the wholesalers the retailers they get connected directly to the bank's server and the transactions are performed based on the connectivity that they get to the bank server so these are the major channels now this is this is where we are coming out from generally gpay qr code whatsapp pay free charge phone pay these are the channels which are available for the purpose of payments we make casual payments by way of these channels now maximum frauds that are happening are happening through these fake payment function methods when they are genuine they are utility but when they are not genuine they create a mess into our life so how let us understand cyber crimes as i mentioned uh, if we compare the technological disadvantages with the disease the way we started these are with the uh, some or the other viruses so for that we have we need to know the causes the symptoms the preventions the precautions this is the way we will try to understand and connect the topic for better uh, uh, precautions to be taken in future so these are there are as good as 20 to 25 types of uh, uh, cyber crimes as of now but we will try to focus on the major areas which we are really not aware of so these are wishing smishing phishing website spoofing ransomware iot internet of things hacking and juice jacking so what are they let us understand the first one is phishing wishing smishing the hacker the fraudster is getting access to your devices so he gets an access to your devices he is getting access to your data and ultimately he is getting access to your financial transactions and your accounts so there are mediums by which he is doing so so when we say phishing it is always by way of a gmail email so when you get an email many a times we do get a mail saying that uh, this is the link for your kyc updation i don't know whether uh, you have heard of the recent case of uh, annu kapoor annu kapoor he has received a call from uh, xyz bank i don't want to name the bank and he was asked that your kyc updation is pending and uh, uh, please come down to branch or uh, you, or you can just uh, Uh, do your kyc updation by way of some correspondence so he forgot by some time and after 8 days again he received a call and that time he said this is the last day or else your account will be freezed and it was made in such a convinced in such a way that he said okay what i have to do okay you will get one otp just share that otp and your kyc updation will be over imagine a person like him is believing that merely sharing by otp he is going to get the updated kyc he shared the otp and two transactions to his account 
वन टू लैक्स सेकेंड टू लैख फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड फोर लैख फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड कौन सो ओ टी पी कभी शेयर नहीं करना सो वी गेट फॉर के वाई सी अपडेशन फॉर रेगुलेटर्स रिक्वायरमेंट वेन वी से रेगुलेटर्स रिक्वायरमेंट आर बी आई ने बोला है अभी तुमको ये सब करना है एंड यू नीड टू डू ऑल दिस थिंग्स एंड देर इज नो अदर ऑप्शन एंड एवरी थिंग इज ऑन द टोज अभी के अभी करना है यू नीड टू डू इट राइट नाउ no bank ever praise you in such a way to update all such things on the toes right forget banking even insurance there are cases wherein the insurance companies you always get i believe at least few of you might have received a call aapka ek insurance policy hai uh, you forgot that 2014 mein liya tha abhi uska uh, abhi benefit hai Uh, you forgot now now just share few documents and you will get the benefit so uh, immediately we think about ki uh, acha okay uh, maybe itna sara policies ek friend ne bola tha to liya rahega i don't recollect so what we do okay what i have to do kyc share karo uske liye aapko ek link aayega wo link pe click karo and then your kyc will be updated aapka policy aa jayega अभी कोई सम पीपल दे आर क्वाइट शार्प दे से नहीं नहीं हम लोग ऐसा नहीं करेंगे तो एक काम करो आप आपका के वाई सी डॉक्यूमेंट स्कैन करके मेल कर दो ये ये मेल आई डी पे एंड यू गेट एन ई मेल आई डी बट सम हाउ यू आर नॉट इन पोजिशन टू सेंड द मेल ना वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप नहीं हो रहा है ओके जस्ट शेयर योर मेल आई डी एंड पासवर्ड यू जस्ट अपलोड ऑन योर मेल शेयर द पासवर्ड and i will log in here and i will get your documents so what a big deal i can share the password na no i cannot share the password because this is a trap again so regulatory requirement diwali season now upcoming new year how many whatsapp messages do we get click here cadbury has come up with the such and such gift just click here and we get it forwards 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 in lot many whatsapp groups and dekhte to hai please don't do that because that's a trap again no company will offer such kind of things merely on a link unless you trust any link please do not click because you really don't know what is the trap so gift regulatory requirement and kyc website spoofing now this is something coming up uh, very recently websites are spoofed what does that mean like uh, say amazon we often use such websites for many of the transactions now these websites are spoofed in such a way that the website ui you cannot find the difference between the original one and the spoofed one in this website what is happening there is a uh, some caller name or say whatsapp number is been shared or a calling number is shared a mobile number is shared and you are been asked for any such things you please contact such and such number a spoofed website how we can identify we can identify that uh, i believe this is not readable as such but the on the url if you get a lock sign then believe that this is secured https if s is available that means it's a secured website and check the spelling of the website if there is some difference in spelling then it's a spoofed there are two cases which i am going to share the first one is related to flipkart there was a lady who like me or was very much fond of shopping she uh, purchased few items worth rupees 20000 on the flipkart and there was only one option available for debit card payment there was no other option cash on delivery nothing 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 only debit card option she opted for it and for 20 days the goods were not delivered since not delivered she called on the number which was given on the site so the bande ne bola are tumhara goods to dispatch ke liye rakha hua hai Uh, uh, रह गया सॉरी सॉरी 
अभी काम करते हैं आई आई शेयर यू वन लिंक प्लीज क्लिक ऑन इट एंड योर गुड्स विल बी एट योर डोर स्टेप इन नेक्स्ट टू डेज क्लिक किया हो गया फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इमीडिएटली डेबिटेड टू हर अकाउंट एंड शी वॉज लाइक बिकॉज शी लॉस्ट इट नंबर वॉज नॉट एक्सेबल अदर केस स्टार प्रवाह सीरियल मधु मधुमिता और सम नेम ऑफ दैट ऐक्ट्रेस नवरा बायको चाल होते रत्नागिरीला सडनली दे चेंज द प्लैन दे सेड ओके वी विल ट्राई टू स्टे इन दैट लोकेशन हजबेंड हेज सीन नियर बाय हॉटेल्स ही हेज सीन दैट देर इज अ हॉटेल ग्रीन लिफ इन द विसेनिटी एंड वी विल ट्राई टू बुक दैट सो ही visited the website which was spoofed there was a number to call he called there bande ne bola ki ha yes yes a bahut rush hai please try to book it as early as possible again signal early karna hai and uh, he said okay how to pay uh, just give me bank details aur bole nahi nahi wo kuch zarurat nahi i'll share you qr code i'll share you qr code just pay on it so he shared the qr code he paid 17500 and uh, after 3 4 hours they reached hotel and they found that the booking was not confirmed they tried to convince that see i have we have paid so the hotel authority said no no such thing happened and this they were not the first one almost 2.5 to 3 lakhs were already been fetched by way of such spoofing so this is all about website spoofing so what precautions we should take is this spelling https and lock logo should be ensured ransomware ransomware is your access of any organization to the particular uh your internal systems is been stopped so what is happening is your system is being hacked and you do not have access to your systems and in this way there was a case of air india cyber attack in may 2021 where 4.5 million customers data was compromised and the same thing happened way back in germany where in the hospital uh, server was hacked and uh, there was a death due to failure of system so it is that serious internet of things hacking we have seen the uh, many advertisements and many uh, uh, many claims by uh, many companies wherein ghar pe baitho ac chalu karo you are you are you are sitting in an office and you are switching on ac at your home or maybe uh, a farmer a modern farmer like uh, say who is working in mumbai but he is doing farming as well he want to do uh, what you can say a water uh, supply to the farm and is sitting at home and is trying to give water to his plants at the uh, village place so this is possible with the help of internet so you are controlling the devices from your location so anything which you can operate by way of internet is can be hacked by way of this iot hacking wherein the hackers can access sensitive data stored in iot devices so though your device is not containing any information or may or may not be containing information if that is hacked your data is gone the famous paytm case for kyc updation so your your devices we which were having internet accesses were hacked right the next one this is something new this is very new juice jacking fraud bus stand railway stand airport we get the charging stations the charging stations are open for all open for public and uh, uh, we we are like you know we are always short of uh, battery especially the young crowd so they are like whenever they purchase a smartphone they see battery ka life kitna hai so they are always short of uh, battery so what happens you know the station charging stations are already containing a, a a charging wire and these wires 
they are the socket this socket is contained with a with a small chip which can fetch your data present in your mobile laptop or tab so we need to be very careful because based on that your data can be easily captured into that particular small device and rest is i need not explain so while doing so we need to either avoid it or if you really want to charge your gadgets switch off your gadget and then keep it for charging so that your data is not accessible now causes these are few types what are the causes of such cases see very important is your data can be hacked or can be accessed only when the hacker or foster has full information about you he is short of information that is the reason why he tries to contact you are we not really sharing our mobile number and name at pharmacist we do share 20 taka milega 30 taka discount milega naam and we easily share we share our mobile number at the uh, gates of societies we are visiting a new society pehle number de do we 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 easily share the number we write it in the register and it is available for anyone malls piche piche aate hain are discount hai hamara ye scheme hai wo hai and then you get the calls as well so this is very easily available this is very 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 important dealing with financial institutions with non robust infrastructure what does that mean whenever a financial institution is not having security walls a robust security walls it is likely that your data might be compromised by anyone the next one is you might have visited many financial institutions a bank maybe insurance company maybe a mutual fund uh, distributor there you will find that lot many papers are lying on the table of the office lot many documents even if you visit you can easily uh, just uh, just take a, one of the paper and you can read it and you can keep it it is that easily available the fraudsters are actually looking out for such kind of opportunities they can get your name your address your account number the basic details are available with the fraudster by way of such visits aadhar masking you know aadhar number sab kuch mil jata hai as per directives of reserve bank of india aadhar number when stored in the bank's domain or the bank server it has to be masked no one should be once i am entering the details it should not be even visible to me except last four digits it is mandatory to mask the aadhar number which is not followed by all the financial institutions kyc documents so we share our kyc documents very easily kyc updation hai we share our pan number pan card aadhar card and uh, say uh, uh, say driving license or whatever xerox self attested but are we really sure that these documents will be used only for the purpose for which we have submitted the documents so this is not happening when we deal with such financial institutions who do not have the robust systems non securing your devices antivirus hai ya uh, dual authentication we have your mobile phones how many of you have the thumb uh, lock to your mobile phones how many of you have pin to your mobile phones look at the younger generation you will hardly find someone without the lock they are they know this very well maybe reasons are different but uh, they follow this passwords just try to recollect your different gateways and your passwords do we really use different passwords 
ईजी पासवर्ड्स श्रुति वन टू थ्री फोर श्रुति ऐट वन टू थ्री श्रुति एंड इयर ऑफ बर्थ दैट आई विल नॉट से बट वी गो एज पर दिस वी द नेम द कॉम्बिनेशन आर सो ईजी टू रिमेंबर एंड दे आर अक्रॉस ऑल द अकाउंट्स ऑल द वट यू कैन से इंटरनेट अवर मेल एक्सेसिस everything having the same passwords so is isn't that is easy for me once i hack your password i have access to all the accounts all the gadgets of yours so easy to crack passwords and identical passwords are the major causes for such types of frauds now what are the early warning signal acha ye sab kiya nahi kiya okay still can i stop from being a fool yes we need to understand the early warning signals what are they many a times we get a call for take over of loan from other financial institutions i get a call icici bank se bol rahi hu aapka hdfc bank mein loan chal raha hai uska itna outstanding hai aapko take over karna hai wo ye rate pe hai now we are offering such and such rate how the person is getting all these details the first question i should ask is how you got the details you will find the phone will be disconnected immediately so when the person is getting these details the person has all the information about you and it's an early early warning signal various apps for sale purchase of old cars or old furniture olx we get uh, a car ye apna furniture uh, purana ho gaya hai there is a live case wherein the person tried to sell a sofa 15000 mein banaya tha 25 saal pehle 5000 mein bech rahi hu what a deal so at 5000 i have uh, i have put in a, a olx pay uh, ad immediately after 3 days i get a call saying are aapka furniture sofa bahut acha i want to purchase this an antique sofa so you are like are 3 din mein becha ja raha hai fine okay kya karna hai these are my uh, account details please credit the amount after 10 minutes i get a call uh, nahi ho raha hai payment nahi ho raha hai payment is getting failed now what to do what i will do is the person on the other side he says i'll share you a qr code please scan the code and you will get your money so i am like furniture to ja raha hai na ओके आई एम सेलिंग द गुड्स एंड आई एम स्कैनिंग द क्यू आर कोड सो आई एम गेटिंग दैट क्यू आर कोड आई एम स्कैनिंग इट ऊपर नाम मेरा नहीं दिख रहा है वो बंदे का दिख रहा है स्टिल आई एम स्कैनिंग इट एंड इमीडिएटली आई गेट अ मैसेज रुपीज फाइव थाउजेंड डेबिटेड टू यूर अकाउंट सो आई एम कॉलिंग दैट पर्सन अरे ये तो डेबिट हो गया मेरे अकाउंट में ओ हो हो गलत क्यू आर कोड आ गया आई एम सेंडिंग यू बैक अनदर कोड सी अ एंड स्टिल आई बिलीव हिम i again scan the code and what happens again 5000 debited so effectively 10000 debited phone disconnected person gone 10000 gone and ultimately i am left with my sofa again and minus 10000 this is a live case so we need to be very particular and careful while we use such applications issuance of identical documents एक पैन नंबर इशूड टू टू डिफरेंट पीपल विद द सेम नेम सेम नेम सेम पैन नंबर इज बीन इशूड देर आर हार्डली फ्यू केसेस दिस इज हैपनिंग बट वेन दिस इज हैपनिंग कॉन्टैक्ट द अथॉरिटी एंड नॉट द पर्सन सो वी नीड टू गेट इन टू टच विद द रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटीज इंस्टेड ऑफ अ पर्सन रिसीट ऑफ एस एम एस फॉर कार ट्रांजेक्शन वी माइट हैव ऑब्जर्व दैट अ पेनी अमाउंट देर वॉज अ केस वन ऑफ माई फ्रेंड he had received a sms early morning there is a failure of transaction worth rupees 200 from your credit card he was slipping are ye kabhi ho gaya but he was alert what he did he immediately blocked his transactions by way of card same day afternoon he received a call from the same company from from one of the person asking for certain details aapka ye loan hai to we are ready to take over and please share the details if he would not have acted that time maybe he would have been a victim to such fraud 
वॉट आर द सिम्टम्स प्रेशस अरे जल्दी करो जल्दी करो जल्दी करना है वेन इट कम्स टू जल्दी ना इट गोज जल्दी एंड सम लुक्रेटिव आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स ऑफर्स आपको इधर एक वन बी एच के फ्लैट मिल रहा है प्लीज जल्दी 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 लिंक करो लिंक को क्लिक करो सो वेन दिस इज जल्दी प्लीज डोंट ऑप्ट फॉर सच ऑप्शन ना वॉट आर द रेमेडीज इतना सब करके हो गया अभी हो गया अभी क्या करें द फर्स्ट एंड द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज प्लीज इन्फॉर्म योर बैंक और द फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन immediately because six first six hours are the golden hours during these golden hours there is a possibility that your money you can get it back survey the damage as i said if you have identical passwords look at all the accounts not only one account check all the accounts whether the damage is also happened to your other accounts as well inform your contacts which we rarely do कैसे बोलूँ यार मुझे इतना सब हो गया नो स्पीक इट अप बिकॉज फ्रॉम सोशल मीडिया वे बैक देर वॉज अ फ्रॉड वेर इन फेसबुक अकाउंट्स वेर हैग एंड मैसेजेस वेर एक्सचेंज टू योर नियर कॉन्टैक्ट्स प्लीज कैन यू प्लीज हेल्प मी आउट बाय वे ऑफ सच एंड सच अमाउंट सो प्लीज इन्फॉर्म ऑल योर कॉन्टैक्ट्स ब्लॉक ऑल द ट्रांजेक्शन्स फ्रॉम नॉन ब्रांच चैनल्स दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ रिक्वायर्ड फाइल एफ आई आर और इन्फॉर्म लोकल साइबर क्राइम इन्वेस्टिगेशन सेल so what happens uh, in police department there is no expertise to deal with such situations and this has been reiterated many times so what is expected is you need to contact because in turn if you inform police police is going to contact the same cell so if you directly connect to that cell the processes are fastened that is the reason why it is been uh, recommended to contact the cyber crime investigation cell very important learn 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 and learn and prevent such frauds in future now this is a, a website of a national cyber crime reporting portal wherein you can file the complaint there it's very user friendly you need to file such complaints at the earliest and you even if you are not victim just try and visit this site you will find lot many experiences of people who are actually being victim to such cases preventions always have a dual factor authentication password plus otp see uh, the fraudsters na the they are much ahead of uh, the way we think so uh, while your passwords are hacked how they are hacked there is a method which maybe i'll discuss in the next uh, slide by this method there is a mechanism wherein they have a data and within seconds they can have permutations combinations of various passwords against your accounts automatically so hacking or uh, knowing your passwords is very easy so that is that is automated but once they get the your uh, accesses unless they get the otp they cannot access your accounts so always have dual factor authentication of otp plus your password because otp will help you out by no, not being a fool for this tool and avoid public network रेल स्टेशन एयरपोर्ट फ्री वाईफाई वाईफाई के बिना व्हाट्सएप के बिना हम लोग नहीं कुछ कर सकते एटलीस्ट आर एज पीपल दे कैन एटलीस्ट मैनेज बट नॉट द जेन नेक्स्ट नाउ ओके पासवर्ड्स तो ईजी मतलब वर्ड यू कैन से इज पासवर्ड आई विल ट्राई टू हैव डिफरेंट पासवर्ड्स बट देर आर टू आइडियाज विच आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू शेयर हाउ द पासवर्ड कैन बी सो एज टू not so easy to hack the first one is related to a keyboard layout we can use a keyboard layout for avoiding password to be cracked how does that work now let us say shruti sidhe i want to have a password what i'll do is i'll use keyboard key, keyboard 
I would use W as the first character, wherein uh, above S, it is W. Can you just please click? So when I'm, I'm selecting S, H, Y, R, 4, U, 7, I, 8, S, W, and so on. So I can use the passwords in such a way that I know my name is this, but I'm using the exactly letters above the, in the keyboard, above the letters which I intend to select. These types of passwords can be hacked in 698 million trillion years. So what does that mean? It cannot be hacked. The basic point is, and this is, uh, uh, of course, a source is a website which has been um, thoroughly examined. This is one way. Another way is simple formula, use alternate letters on the keyboard. If you use alternate letters, like say W, R, Y, I, P, and then A, D, G, R, J, and so on. So if I use such letters, I need not re remember the letters, nor are they easy to crack for the hackers. And what is the possibility? At least 100 million trillion years. So it's quite low, the, lower than 698, but chalega. We are not going to stay for that long. So this is the way we can have our passwords. Eradication programs by government are many. Government is constantly looking out for eradicating such uh, 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 crimes. And uh, cyber laws under IT Act are under uh, developments, they, are, they will slowly be uh, enacted. At the same time, you might have read that dedicated cyber intelligence unit is about to get set up in Maharashtra. So with this, they uh, actually government is taking lot many precautions, lot many things for not, uh, for avoiding people to, from such kind of cyber frauds. Now this is very interesting statistics. Number of crimes reported in India, 52,974 as per 2021 uh, census. And if you f see here, na, if we say 52,900 and odd year, out of which 61% is frauds. So this is the percentage by which actually the frauds are happening, the cyber crimes are happening, and other are related to sexual exploitation, extortion, and others. So the majority of the frauds are happening for cyber crimes. Another thing is, this statistics is with respect to the internet users. In India, you will find almost 76% of internet users are facing cyber crimes. And in Germany, it's 45%. The global percentage is 54%. We are above par because of lack of awareness. So why RBI kehta hai, satark rahiye. This is for that. We need to be very, very careful while we deal with the websites, with the uh, internet, anything. We need to be very, very careful. Now this is something, something more. During last one year, out of three consumers, one was the victim. So you can check the ratio. It is one out of three. Ransomware, as I have mentioned, in Germany, there was a death due to system failure. And over 75% of targeted cyber attacks starts with an email. Because sending email is pretty easy and uh, pretty easy to even cheat because we are likely to click the links that are being shared with an attractive offers. Now, based on all this discussion, this is called as a Taoism. What is Taoism? Is every good has something bad and every bad has something good. So this is the way when we say a technology, when it has something bad, should we leave using such technology? The answer is no. We should always use it, but with the precautions. For which, 
as our honorable uh, md and ceo sir sunil sathe sir he always say ki vaat tithe vaat mar gardi tithe pakit mar tasa tantrajnan tithe frauds he apan nahi apan avoid karu shakat nahi pan ma tya sathi apan ek lakshman rekha jar ka par nahi keli tar aplyala ya goshtinchha tras honar nahi to kutli lakshman rekha Don't share your name and mobile number randomly. कोणी मागितला आणि देऊन टाकला प्लीज डोंट डू दॅट इफ यू कॅनॉट अवॉइड इट चुकीचं सांगा एखादा डिजिट कमी सांगा एखादा डिजिट इंटरचेंज करून सांगा सो दॅट देर विल नॉट बी अ पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ हॅव्हिंग युअर डेटा डोंट शेअर पासवर्ड ओ टी पी यूज ट्रस्टेड अँटीव्हायरस नेवर शेअर कार्ड ऑर अकाउंट डिटेल्स विथ एनी वन and deal with the financial institutions with the robust security walls evda kela nahi lakshman rekha jar ka apan akhun ghetli tar he je cyber crime cha ramayana na te aple ayushyat nahi honar now last but not the least be responsible while you use facebook or any such domain be safe be respectful be smart and before you use such aspects as a twitter or anything think is it true is it helpful is it inspiring is it necessary or is it fine so if we follow this then we can avoid to be a fool by the technological tool so this is what all about the entire session thank you so much you can earmark your funds for the external channels you mean to say if you visit the branch you should have access to 50000 but when you are doing the transactions through non branch channel you want to restrict it to 10000 and not beyond that right you can you can that depends because uh, not all banks are giving that facility again that calls for the robust structure infrastructure and the the bank is dealing the way the bank is dealing so many private sector banks are offering this kind of facility as well as nationalized banks are offering yes yes they do have they do have you can search it on their uh, you must be having internet banking uh, password or maybe accesses you can check on that correct correct so the damage will be limited to that particular amount you can you can do that you get uh, interest uh, of fb what you are no this has the access to the internet because that you can any time withdraw if this is prone to the fraud right okay. so if somebody park the money into physical leverage do the fraud one person has access no. to that no i think we can connect this question to the earlier question where the banks are having a facility or uh, what you can say auto conversion into fixed deposit so there is no hard for that fixed deposit as what is happening is your amounts is beyond 10000 is automatically getting parked to a fixed deposit type of product and whenever you are accessing you want to access maybe you have issued a check say 12000 and you have uh, your amount of 40000 is converted into an fd based on your check clearing na 2000 will be dragged from your fixed deposit automatically and your check gets cleared so this is a very wise way to deal for it and your damage can be controlled at certain level so it is advisable to have such kind of facility yes it's it's a term i would say a semi term deposit kind of product which is uh, being offered they call it as a different name because every bank has a different nomenclature to call it as so you can very well do that it is like expecting to catch up all the thieves around the world at one go because once you caught them na there are some more thieves which are coming up next 
So it is not like you can control it at some level because you really don't know a person sitting next to you, uh, not you actually, might be doing it uh, at that level. So it's really difficult uh, to do that because they think beyond the way we are thinking and they are, their main core business is uh, doing such kind of frauds. One, <coughs> one common question uh, which we find like uh, we want to visit some places, they ask for your mobile number and name and then they send a OTP to you, you confirm that then only you are allowed to enter the building. The biggest example is Bombay Stock Exchange building where you have to share your PAN card and mobile number and then only you are allowed to get in. Now this kind of security what should you do? In such cases, it is uh, ideally expected if it is a Bombay Stock Exchange, there that's a genuine uh, a gateway wherein the security is a major concern. So there, there is no other option but to share your actual details. But try to restrict sharing such details only to the tune of your name and your mobile number at that level. If, if you enter the premise and, and if someone asks you uh, tumara passport ka copy de do and uh, anything else, then uh, I think we should not share that for whatever is the reason unless you trust the source. So what we are discussing here is unless the source is trusted source, please do not share the details because here there is no other option. And uh, I believe the data must be, uh, there must be some security checks and the data is necessarily being uh, stored for these purposes for any future complications. So there is, there is no other option but to share it because if you share a wrong number, you won't get the OTP and you won't get entry into it. But, uh, the flip side of that is uh, recently, uh, exactly a week back, uh, the, the biggest deposit in India, it was subject to ransom attack. And they lost almost from Friday afternoon till Sunday morning, and there was no pain payout happening. Now, CDSL is part of Bombay Stock Exchange. Now, if such things happen, where do we look for? We need to look for our own brains. <laughs> there is no other option, because uh, uh, in such cases, na, uh, the way we keep on thinking about the solutions, there is always some new problems, some new crimes coming up with the uh, new, what you can say, features. So there is always a room for uh, improvement. What we can do is we can restrict our uh, damages at certain levels, to, to some certain levels. This is something is uh, Lakshman Rekha again. Look at the Lakshman Rekha and try not to uh, get out of that Lakshman Rekha uh, so that any future complications, any future issues in your life will be saved. That's it. One question came to me was about uh, the young generation, like uh, they use this so extensively and we don't get across uh, any examples whether they get duped or not. Are they really smart or what, what is the situation like? Uh, the answer is a 50-50 answer. The one who are smart, they don't, uh, they use it very carefully and balance 50% are in negligence, don't care about it. So unless you ask them, uh, just use it, open it and you click at this link, till that time they will ignore it. Because even if you call, maybe uh, as a parent, you might find it. Uh, if you call your kid or if you send any message to kid, uh, to my daughter as well. When I send her, I call her, uh, just go through the message, otherwise she will not look at it. She, won't, would, she would not link, click the link. So the answer is dual. Either they are very smart or they are like uh, least bother about such messages. Uh, they simply do not track the transactions. Uh, see, just to answer it further, uh, they are like, uh, you know, being into that generation, they are least bothered about what is happening around. They are focused on those transactions. Even if they get a call, 90% of times the phones are on silent mode. They do not answer the calls. And the call is uh, transferred. I mean, the call, yeah, the turn is over now, the next victim. The fraudsters are more on that. Nor do they have that kind of account balances in their account. Right? So, the target... Uh, target victims of uh, such fraudsters is the mid-aged group people who are actually having 
reasonable amount of balances and they are looking out for some good opportunities like the gift or maybe regulatory compliances you might have you just can go through any website or any internet information you will find that the victim's age is a particular age you will not find someone there is a case a, a recent case one of my friend's relative he was 17 years old boy hmm? uh, two weeks back he had clicked on some link and he shared his account number details rupees 7000 was debited to his account he left his home he left for his native place on a bicycle and there was a message on our whatsapp group saying that ha mulga kuthe milala tar bagha so fortunately uh, within two days uh, police could uh, trace out that boy so this is what is happening in case of young generation so has this been happened in case of any of the person of the say age between the age group of 35 to 50 i don't think this would have been the reaction because he was so so much of um, what you can say feeling guilty and that is the reason why such cases are very 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 limited so either you be smart or you be the way the young crowd is dealing with such uh, cases yes very <laughs> very important question you asked the first thing sir use debit card and your atm card please don't restrict it because the frauds are not happening just with the cards as we say the technology is useful please don't avoid using the technology just because such kind of frauds are happening so my appeal is first of all use the atm cards now to answer your second question is whether i should link both the account i mean transferring amount from such account to the other account i believe this question is mainly coming from the source organization which you are looking out for is not having a robust infrastructure that is the reason why you are kin to withdraw amount from that account and keep it in an institution wherein you find that the infrastructure is quite robust and you are relying on the organizational security aspects you can always do that you can always do that but remember the destination organization which you are relying might also face such a kind of frauds so we should be only careful keep on using the technological supports that the organization is giving you please do not deprive yourself from the facilities the organizations are giving in because please remember brick and mortar banks will no more exist in future so this is going to be the future so get accustomed to such kind of technological tools the organizations are offering you are absolutely right sir uh, maybe that is the reason why our bank tjsb bank has taken this initiative and uh, it has allowed me to uh, be part of uh, such an program which has been organized by such a wonderful people they are taking this initiative and trying to make create the awareness see the general tendency is people like of your age they are reading they are reading lot many materials but as you look at the ages the uh, the uh, the what you can say the uh, say mid age people they are and uh, again the kids the adults uh, the uh, the children from say age group till say 19 20 or 25 they are not interested in reading anything if you go and speak with them they are ready to listen or if you make a video they are ready to see the videos so the same thing is happening when you shoot a particular news or something people are not ready to read it so the this is the way actually, actually you have made a very important point there has to be initiatives from the financial institutions wherein the awareness needs to be created by quoting such examples that this is happening and please take care while you do such type of financial transactions so it is well taken this is what something we are expecting AI, hmm? artificial intelligence. So, uh, see, uh, and a software, an antivirus software, what it can, it can do is, it can stop entering viruses into your devices. See, this is a wall, wherein you can allow or disallow someone to enter into your premises or enter into your devices. So this is the way it can stop. 
but the otp which is been generated by your financial institution which is coming up into your mobile how come the uh software is going to understand whether this is a genuine otp or whether it is the otp which has been generated by someone to cheat you so understanding the differences between the two is really difficult for a antivirus software the uh, uh, otp or captcha uh, if we say a captcha you might have observed that whenever you visit an a website of uh, or internet banking there is a two way authentication otp first password then otp captcha to check whether it's a human uh, intervention or not these are the walls maybe uh, say for example when you are entering this premises there is a wall at first go that is your password the second wall that is otp and the third wall is captcha when everything is been cracked you get an entry into the system so for the mobile companies or even for the financial institutions the gateways are simple see earlier maybe 10 years back you might have observed that when the uh, internet banking was a new concept in india or maybe across the globe that time there was only a password which was given as an access point at the as the frauds started happening the otps were devised again it continued the fraudsters were able to uh, get the otps from people like us who easily share the otps they started getting the captcha as well maybe the next step based on the frauds that are happening maybe there must be some more steps which the uh, development the software development might go ahead but controlling it either from mobile companies or from the financial institutions may be a, a, a futuristic vision which we may look out for i think uh, you are referring to the source from which the otp is been accessed the source cannot be accessed cannot be accessed as on today but going forward that might happen the moment you are uh, sharing the otp or the moment you are sharing the password they are getting access to your devices i'll quote you one example there was a friend of mine who had received a link on his mobile just like the gift which uh, we say he has received one link on the uh, uh, whatsapp and he clicked it and his phone got formatted and this happened twice in the span of 8 days so what we are saying is learn when i learn from one experience i should not repeat that experience the, the mistake again another example there was a case wherein a mail was received by one of the person he received the mail along with the link wherein it was asked to click on the link and you will get the further details and uh, somehow the link was not he couldn't uh, access the link again a new link was shared and it was said that to conduct the transaction you need to uh, click on this link and he clicked it the entire screen was shared the fraudster could see the screen and he just asked now navigate this navigate that you will find such and such icon as if he could see the screen and ultimately after the uh, crime happened after few days it, it was revealed that the screen was shared so how it is happening there are lot many ways by which the fraudsters are getting accesses to your devices if you switch off again the golden hour in what time you are switching it off because once it is accessed the entire data is mapped in fraction of seconds before you switch it off your data is already gone so it depends on what kind of way the fraudster is using the the software if you are not using any account ideally uh if you find every one of us are having a multiple saving bank accounts so why we are having so maybe i have a bucket of one nationalized bank account one cooperative bank account one private sector bank account with the different purposes cooperative bank i am having just to have a face because i have a fair idea which we are actually experiencing i am visiting the branch i say good morning good evening i get a cup of tea i chat with the people and i get a sense of what you can say satisfaction of visiting a branch if the same thing you do in a private sector bank you are charged you are visiting a branch pay 200 rupees so you don't get the uh, feel of visiting a branch just stay at home 
click on the whatever links you want and get your things done. And the third is the nationalized banks. You visit, you don't visit, you whatever you do, we are least bothered about it. So each one of them are having a peculiarity of their facilities. So if you are using, uh, say, private sector banks, five private sector banks account, then it is really not advisable because you are unnecessarily putting in your minimum balances into all these accounts and you are getting charged. If you are using all the nationalized banks account, then again it is it is not advisable because uh, any time they uh, inform you, they are least bothered about, I am sorry to say so, but uh, you get the messages and they leave it. So what I advise is keep your accounts with the cooperative banks. Not because I am from cooperative bank, I am taking this platform as an advertisement for that. The, frankly speaking, it's a combination of both. Because you get an opportunity of dealing with on your internet banking. See, TJSB is having all those facilities at par with the private sector bank. You can visit anytime. We don't charge for it. We, we give you, we offer you a cup of tea for which even we don't charge you. And as well as we conduct such kind of programs for awareness creation for the people like you. So my advice is keep always have a bucket of uh, banks as a, uh, accounts with you and you should always have at least one account with TJSB. Huh? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, quite, uh, this is quite realistic uh, case wherein uh, you always get a call when your credit limit is getting enhanced, believe me, your Sybil has been drawn by the banking, the particular bank. So, uh, Sybil or any CIC, credit information uh, system, uh, there are many companies in India. So, what is wrong in getting your Sybil again is that much inquiries are hit against your account. So, the more are the inquiries against your name, your credibility starts reducing. Your credit score gets reduced because you are in need of such funds is been interpreted by these CICs. To answer this, the first thing is, if you are really not required such a limit, please avoid it. The second, the second option is, you can increase your limit, but you can restrict your limits by way of internet banking. Say for example, 50,000 is the limit as of now, and if the company is offer you, the bank is offering you with the 3 lakhs limit, and if you think in near future you might require those funds, get it enhanced, but you can block your limit through internet banking at 50,000 only. Or maybe if you are traveling abroad, if you are going on for, uh, say, uh, abroad trip, and if you want to use it, then enhance it for that purpose. Till that time, once you are back, you can again restrict it at that level. Per transaction, per transaction or maybe for per period. See the 40 days period. During those 40 days, you can use at that level. See, there are two levels of uh, limits. One is per transaction, one is for the period. For 40 days, you can use 3 lakhs ka credit. So if you are having that credibility, if you want that to have it for the emergency purposes, you can always opt for it, right? So it is advisable unless and until you foresee that requirement because it is at that tip moment you can enhance your limit at any time. Believe me, this is a requirement of banks and not yours. If you feel that there is going to be no need, you should not be really getting tempted to increase that activity. Correct. No, I can answer this in two ways. Correct. Correct, correct. Yes, yes. Uh, quite, uh, this is quite realistic uh, case wherein uh, you always get a call when your credit limit is getting enhanced, believe me, your Sybil has been drawn by the banking, the particular bank. So, uh, Sybil or any CIC, credit information uh, system, uh, there are many companies in India so what is wrong in getting your Sybil again is that much inquiries are hit against your account. 
so the more are the enquiries against your name your credibility starts reducing your credit score gets reduced because you are in need of such funds is been interpreted by this cics to answer this the first thing is if you are really not required such limit please avoid it the second answer the second option is you can increase your limit but you can restrict your limits by way of internet banking say for example 50000 is the limit as of now and if the company is offer you, the bank is offering you with the 3 lakhs limit and if you think in your future you might require those funds get it enhanced but you can block your limit through internet banking at 50000 only or maybe if you are traveling abroad if you are going on for uh, say uh, abroad trip and if you want to use it then enhance it for that purpose till that time once you are back you can again restrict it at that level per transaction per transaction or maybe for per period see the 40 days period during those 40 days you can use at that level see there are two levels of uh, limits one is per transaction one is for the period for 40 days you can use 3 lakhs ka credit so if you are having that credibility if you want that to have it for the emergency purposes you can always opt for it right so it is advisable unless and until you foresee that requirement because it is at that tip moment you can enhance your limit at any time believe me this is a requirement of banks and not yours yes yes <clears throat> you can do that uh, the fair way is don't write it uh, i believe all of us are uh, techno savvy people what you can do is you can have your own document at your maybe at your um, uh, laptop or a computer with a password protected format first thing that password at least you need to remember a password protected document and please do not share that document with anyone either by way of email or by way of whatsapp or by way of anything when it is lying in your laptop or a tab or a computer till that time you are secured again it is password protected that password can be an easy password for you to remember this can be accessed by you any time try to have at least one day in a week to visit that document in order to have a uh, what you can say remember that password and revisiting all the passwords which you have set up and this even going forward what you can do is uh, uh, i am sharing this a very personal secret uh, which you can implement in an excel sheet excel you can protect you can uh, hide those cells at one particular level either hide the rows and columns or you can have the font colors as white so that it is not easily visible so when you are selecting those cells and changing the font color it is visible so when the font color is white it is not clearly visible on the face of it when you change it to black it is visible so this is way otp captcha and so on password ideally if you ask me uh on a uh, what you can say uh, the better way is not to write it anywhere but having accesses to so many things either you can use password method this way and with the suffix or prefix of the say bank name or maybe say amazon or whatever whatever you are using it with a similar password similar password means for amazon i am using alternate letters for flipkart i am using the letters above the keyboard and so on so that way you can you can have your own method to remember the passwords correct 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 
so this is the reason why it is advisable to have such document which should be periodically shared not on mail not on whatsapp it's device to device directly and is been informed continuously to the next generation and there has to be some you can have your own uh, what you can say checklist your investment consultants names their contact numbers the details of your investment in one file again a dual dually or double level password protected right so this is the way you can deal with or else better way is go on traditional likh ke rakho diary de diya baat khatam right <laughs> because frankly speaking anything you are sharing on mail can be traced by anyone so password cracking the password is that easy now and if you share such file with your daughter or someone on a mail ye sab ka kuch fayda nahi so you are actually giving a treasure to the fraudster right so yes 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 it is so anyways where you are storing it is immaterial because they are the fraudsters <laughs> right correct yeah that's that is the correct way but again going forward there are frauds wherein while you go on for taking the xeroxes na you ask for five copies and the xerox person the shopkeeper he takes six copies and the one copy is being sold at a very high rate to someone who is misusing it so while you take xeroxes of your documents as well what we do the copies nikal by that time i keep on checking my whatsapp messages don't do that be careful you just see whether the next copies are been drawn and whether all the copies are taking position of that can be misused if it is not been submitted to a financial institutions to which you trust a lot so though you are writing for say kyc updation with tjsb and if you are submitting to tjsb tjsb has a robust mechanism but if you are sharing this to some some financial institution say maybe your consultant maybe a mutual fund distributor whoever if he has he do not have that uh, ethics or if he has some such connects your data is easily shared with anyone so we conclude the program now uh, uh, first of all uh, thank you uh, shruti madam for coming here and sharing all your thoughts uh, we really appreciate uh, and uh, as you rightly said that uh, these uh, things are need to be shared i think uh, whatever we sh she shared today it was one step ahead uh, sharing and learning so we learned a lot from you uh, in this context and maybe uh, this generation you can see we can actually go out and brag to our younger generation that we know much better than you because of your thoughtful uh, process and in fact uh, you have written their think uh, in that context uh, your speech was really thoughtful it was of high value at the same time uh, it contained a uh, lot of information uh, to that extent for us uh, we want to appreciate so i after that h i say appreciate then of course it was necessary and lastly it was very knowledgeable so all put in together i think uh, the uh, kind of uh, bouquet you offered i think probably there is one word uh, used on in the social media uh, rather notoriously that is toolkit toolkit is used by political parties or whatever for trolling and all kind of thing but i think your toolkit is very positive and i think this will be really useful to all of us and uh, we'll share our uh, recording also to all our members who are not here and thank you once again to you as well as all of you here on this saturday evening thank you